friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading Gilberto and the Wind by Marie Hall Etz. Now, before we get started, I have a big question for you. How does wind make things move? All right, so I'm looking at the cover. I see a little boy, and the title tells me that his name is probably Gilberto. I also see something interesting that the illustrator drew right here, some white lines, and he's holding on to his hat. Now, when I go outside and I'm wearing a hat, I have to hold on to my hat if it's very windy because the wind will blow my hat off. I'm going to guess that this white drawing right here is supposed to illustrate the wind. Can you normally see the wind? Not really. So I think that that's how the illustrator is showing us that it's windy in a book. So let's read it and see what we see. How does wind make things move? Gilberto and the wind. I am Gilberto and this is the story of me and the wind. Once again, in this title page, I see Gilberto and he's holding what looks like a kite. Can you fly kites when there's no wind? No, you have to fly kites when it's windy. And here's again, another illustration using white wispy lines. I have a feeling that's gonna be the wind. I hear wind whispering at the door. You, he whispers, you. So I get my balloon and I run out to play. I wonder why Gilberto gets out his balloon to go play when he hears the wind calling. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. But then with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of a tree. Wind, oh wind, I say, blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers, you. I wonder why wind won't give the balloon back. Wind loves to play with the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the sheets and twists the apron strings. And he pulls out all the clothespins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though he knows they're too small. Can wind try clothes on? I don't think so. And the wind loves umbrellas. Uh-oh. Once when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me, and when he couldn't, he broke it. Well, that certainly is rude. Then again, is wind really a character? Or is wind just part of the setting? If the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, wind plays with that too. He opens it up, then bangs it shut, making it squeak and cry. Wind, oh wind, I say, and I go and climb on. Give me a ride. But with me on it, the gate is too heavy. Wind can't move it at all. Hmm, too heavy for the wind to push. Sometimes the wind is strong, but sometimes the wind is not quite strong enough. When the grass is tall in the meadow, wind and I like to race. Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts over. But he always wins because he just runs over the top of the grass and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. When the big boys on the hill have kites to fly, wind helps them out. Wind carries their kites way up to the sky and all around. I see Gilberto down here admiring how the kites are flying in the wind. That looks like fun. I even see in the background trees that are blowing in the wind's power as well. But when I have a kite, wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind, oh wind, I say, I don't like you today. Ooh, look at Gilberto's face here and here. He looks really frustrated and probably disappointed too. He's frustrated because he's trying and trying and trying to fly his kite. But can he fly the kite? Mm -mm. And that's what happens. You feel really uncomfortable and angry. When the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with wind to the pasture and wait under the tree. 
Wind always blows one down for me. How is wind blowing apples down from the tree? How does that even work? Is wind strong enough to shake the tree and loosen the apples and the apples fall on their own? Is wind reaching out a hand and picking the apples? And when I have a boat with a paper sail, wind comes and sails it for me, just as he sails big sailboats for sailors on the sea. So wind can push boats around too, not just little boats, but big sailboats. And when I have a pinwheel, wind comes and plays too. First I blow it myself to show him how. Then I hold it out or hold it up and wind blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whistles and sings and all I can see is a blur. Sounds really exciting. I wish I had a pinwheel. Take it outside. Gilberto can use his wind power using his breath, but the actual wind is much stronger than that and can make the pinwheels spin even faster, making it look blurry. Wind likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make bubbles. I have to do that. But he carries them way up into the air for the sun to color. Then he blows some back and makes me laugh when they burst in my eyes or on the back of my hands. I like bubbles too. They're super fun. Is Gilberto right that wind can't blow bubbles? Only Gilberto can blow bubbles? Because I'm looking at Gilberto's bubble wand and it looks like you have to put your mouth on it and blow using your own wind power there. But the real wind would have a really hard time getting into that tiny mouthpiece. When the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile. But then wind comes along, and just to show that he can, and just to show that he can sweep without a broom, wind scatters the leaves all about again, and he blows the dirt in my face. Oh man, that's not gonna make Gilberto feel very good. He's got his hand on his face, and he's rubbing and rubbing to try to get the dirt out. And then he's gonna have to rake those leaves again. Sometimes wind is so strong, he starts breaking the trees and knocking down fences. Then I'm afraid. I run in the house and lock the door. But when wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze in through the keyhole, I tell him no. What kind of weather is it when the wind is so strong? It howls and tries to squeeze in through the keyholes and the doors. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind, I whisper, oh wind, where are you? Shh, answers wind, and he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is. So I lie down beside him and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. The end. Wow, that was a really interesting story all about the wind and how the wind makes things move. You might want to go through it one more time, but this time start writing down your ideas of how the wind makes things move. What kind of things move when the wind is blowing? Is the wind always the same? Is the wind really powerful sometimes or is the wind weak sometimes? Are there days when there's no wind at all? Maybe go outside and test it for yourself. Grab a kite or some bubbles or a pinwheel like Gilberto did. Maybe even collect some leaves and see if the wind can blow them around. Well, I hope you enjoyed your story today. I hope I see you next time. Bye.